Okay, beautiful Virgos. I know. I know I haven't been around. And I'm just going to say this from the get-go. If your life is great, your love life especially is all fantastic right now, this perhaps isn't the reading for you. It's it's going to be it's going to be one of those ones, all right? Cuz Virgo I'm a Virgo. If you guys are new to the channel, shouts out to all my Virgos that are continually supporting me and been here from the get-go, all right? And there's a lot of anxiety here, a lot of anxiety, a lot of delay. There's a lot going on. We're going to get into it. We're going to read your... Yes, I have my dressing gown on. Do not judge. <laughs> We're going to get into it. Uh, the first card, let's talk about your crystal message that you guys got today, okay? That we got. And it's all about intuition. And I suppose for me, maybe for you, a lot of us are questioning, was my intuition right? Was I right all along? We'll find out. We'll try to find out. It says here, do you want to improve and trust your intuition, Virgo? Activate your third eye and exercise your sensory gifts. You receive messages from the divine all the time. It is now time to notice the signs, interpret them, and use the higher guidance to create ease in your life. And a lot of us, well, maybe I can speak for myself. I don't, you know, I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I'm unsure because... You know, there's love gets things messy. <laughs> You've got an affirmation side. I'm extremely intuitive. The angels say, my spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time. I'm grateful for divine guidance. My mind is clear and all knowledge is available. I awaken my conscious. I am calm. I am at peace. And, you know, we want peace. Of course we want peace, but... I think a lot of us right now are indecisive. We've got a lot going on in our mind. Let's get to the angel cards and then we'll get into the tarot reading. Too much going on at once, Virgo. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Really, really hard for us sometimes, especially when we get in our head. The need to just, just slow it down, slow the mind down, slow everything down. Just take it all in. Just take it all in as it is, you know. Uh, we've got the devil card. We've got it come up twice in this reading. A full sense of entrapment, Virgo. Being overly focused on material things. There is a, a factor here with regards to money or greed. It doesn't have to be you. It could be energies around you, okay. Negative or fear-based thoughts. Definitely I can relate to this. My negative thoughts for the past week has been horrific. I've put myself down so much. I've questioned my worth, my ability, my whole existence. The Hermit card came out for us, and this is our card. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. We are discovering a lot of shit right now, you know? <laughs> There's a lot of um, lessons being learned here, okay? What we don't know, right, is that this is the last push, Virgo. I know it's hard. I know we've been feeling it right now. It's the last push. It's the last determination. Look at her stance. You got to keep pushing. We got to keep pushing, man. Even though we don't want to, we got to. We really do. Um, let's, let's get into the tarot, all right? The Four of Swords. A time of rest, a time of needing to self-love, Virgo, a time to retreat because the majority of us are hurting. You know, there's a situation here, all right? And, and some of us don't want to get out of bed and some of us just want to stay here until the storm's over. Wake up and hope that it was all a dream. It's a time to retreat, it's a time for self-love, okay? This Eight of Swords, there's a lot of restriction here, okay? There's a lot of, and this could be your energy or your person's energy, someone not wanting to deal with something here, 
a lot of restriction, a lot of non-communication, a lot of confusion in the emotional aspects as well. I really see that here. It, it gets it gets deeper, okay, it does, but there is um there's an unstable situation here going into the now energy and it's it's really here, it really is here. There's no time frame on this reading, all right? This justice card reverse, this is unfairness, you know, Virgo, have we been treated unfairly? Some sort of unjust, but in the face of it all. We remain in our integrity. It, you know, if people are not treating us fair or kind or nice or equal, that's fine. We leave it to the gods and the universe to, to sort it all out, okay? There's still going to be a delay right now, you know, Greatness never came over like overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. There is a delay here, okay? And I do feel like a lot of you and a lot of your confidence has been knocked. All right? And and there is negativeness here, negative thoughts. We are in our mind. That four of cups also talks about unstable situations. Unstable. It talks about feeling drained, Virgo. We are drained. There was passion here. Or that, you know, you still got that passion. It's still there. It's still underlining in you. Um, there's, tra there's travel here. The Knight of Wands talks about travel as well. It's the anxiety, you know. You're trying to, to, to be positive and stuff like that. You're trying, but really there's a lot of anxiety here. Sleepless nights, weird dreams. That night of cups as well. That emotional disconnection, you know. Let me know what's happened. You know, Major Arcana, we have Leo here. We have Libra. We have Cancer, we have Capricorn, and we also have Taurus and Virgo. What I picked up from these messages, my darling, was, you, you know, you, you were tricked or you felt tricked. Maybe, you know, with the Three of Swords, someone was cheated on here. Or at least felt cheated. It's a... It's, uh, it's not great, is it? <laughs> you know, and that eight of wands as well, no communication. You know, a lack of communication. The devil card, like painful lessons being learnt here. Painful lessons that sometimes we don't want to deal with. And it causes us anxiety because we're, we're fantastic people. We are fantastic people. There's heartbreak here, my lovely. Quarrelling. Some sort of disorder that's been going on. Even though it sounds all negative, you know, we can release it. That devil talks about releasing, releasing negative thoughts, negative patterns. It will pass. You know, nothing, nothing stays static. Change is inevitable. I asked um, Tarot, who loves Virgo? Who is it that wants Virgo right now? What was the energy I got around that? And these three came out. So again, some of you may be dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus or someone that has that in their chart. Your person is very confused and there is options. There is definitely other people involved. There's other people involved, Virgos, yeah? Um, that Hierophant reversed. It's like, I think other people have had an influence. It's, it's, it's like, I've lost the faith. I'm unsure. That hyphen energy, that someone's not got their values in the right place. Other people have had an influence. Someone said something. Someone's done something. Okay? Most certainly.
misinformation someone has given the wrong information or got the wrong information maybe got the wrong end of the stick there's someone that is restricting their attitudes and their morals there's a lack of free flow here there's you know there's there's been a crisis whether it's at work or for for your person or you criticism as well it talks about criticizing you know people criticizing other people not seeing the good but generally speaking your person is very confused and they have options and i'm just going to keep shit real as possible they don't know i think this person don't even know what they want very confused energy so what i'm going to do now look at that page of swords i haven't shuffled the card but quick knock quick shuffle and any messages that Virgo needs to hear before we go, please. I'm not going to clarify anything in this reading. I'm just going to see if there's any more messages that Virgo needs to hear before we go. I'll definitely do another reading during the week. Okay. But it's going to be all right. We've got to be kind to each other. It's going to be all right. Ace of Wands. You know new newness coming in newness coming in stuff about to sprout Ugh, that nine of swords but still the anxiety your anxiety your worry your worries holding you back virgo ace of swords you will get your truth your clarity you will start to cut out the bullshit cut it out you'll get your clarity you want you know sometimes we don't ever get the truth i feel intuitively the need to say that sometimes we don't get that you need to um, feel that that love again. You need to just slow down, slow it down a bit. You need to just enjoy life again. The future is is not promised for anybody. Oh, this is pretty. You know, a new emotional situation, financial difficulties, perhaps. Look, I think that for some of you, this situation has ended, or at least that I don't want to go too much into it change is inevitable it's inevitable Virgo alright as long as you know that change is inevitable be careful be mindful of the energies that you let into your life always remember who you are always remember that you deserve everything and if not more before i get all emotional i'm out of here all right i'll see you guys in a couple of days Mwah.